Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. How's it going? All right. So for today, we're going to talk about our last pronunciation class related to words and letters in English. Uh, some of the words that are challenging for Koreans to read. Uh, we're going to talk about consonant clusters. So these are chunks of words that are difficult for Koreans to read. Let's jump in. So in the first section, I'm going to talk about words that are difficult at the beginning of an English word, right? So let's start off with the first word that is prawn. All right, you'll notice that R sound in there. I got to go tickle the back of my throat to get that R sound in there. Prawn, prawn. Can you say this? Okay. And the second word is blame. That's right. So I'm not doing the R sound. I'm doing the L at the front of my mouth here. Blame, blame. Now the trick is, remember how we were talking about consonants and in Korean, you would add the uh sound at the bottom of the word. I want to kind of clip all of the uh sounds. Blame, so after the B, it's not blame. It's not blame. That uh is extra. We didn't ask for that. It's blame, blame. So B L B L B L. Blame, and then we go back, prawn, prawn, right? For p at the front here, R at the back, prawn, all right? Prawn, blame, prawn, blame, prawn, blame. Can you try? <laughs> Good stuff. Next up, we're going to look at the W sound. This is the wa 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 sound, which is actually not very hard of writing in Hangul. Dwell, dwell, dwell. Can you say that? Good. The next one is swing, swing, swing. All right. Dwell, swing, dwell, swing, dwell, swing. All right. Great job, great job. Now for the next one, I want to actually emphasize the U sound. Now it's not Ooh, which obviously we have in Korean, it's more like the y sound, the y. Let's look at our first word, Puritan. Puritan. Now you'll notice I'm not saying Puritan, because that's that's not it. It's Puritan. Puritan. Okay, the original word is pure, so you also have that kind of y sound in there. Puritan. Can you say that? All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, I also want to come back to another word which is very similar. It is huge, huge, all right? Once again, I have that U sound, but what you're really hearing is the Y. It's huge, huge, not huge, but huge, huge. Can you say that? Excellent, excellent, excellent work. And the last of the starter consonant sounds is with an S, okay? Once again, I want to make sure there's no extra vowel sounds. Sphere. All right. Now, the way this works is, yes, there's an S, and then there is essentially an F sound. So, all right, I don't want to go into the P, because that would be spear, spear, which is wrong, right? It's SF, sphere. Sphere, sphere, all right? Can you try that? All right, all right. All right, now next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the S and the N, and we have snow, snow, snow. Can you try that? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Next up, we're gonna talk about sounds at the end of the word. All right, so let's go to our first ending sound. Uh, we're gonna look at the letter L, and one of your favorite sounds now, la 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 la. Can you say that? La 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 la. All right, repeat after me. Shelf, shelf, shelf. Okay, good stuff. Again, make sure I'm getting that shh sound. I'm not, it's not kind of backing into an S sound. Shelf, shelf. Shelf, right? I'm breathing out to get that F sound. The next word is film, film, film. Right? I'm using my tongue to get that L, and then I close my mouth to get the M mm sound. 
Film. Film. Can you say that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome stuff. Great work. So the next two sounds are actually related to the nasal sound around your nose, right? These are M and N sounds. So let's go to the first one. That is warmth, warmth, warmth. So this is the noun form of warm. You'll notice I have that M sound mm, here, and then I'm also gonna back into a TH sound. Warmth, warmth, warmth. Can you try that? Good stuff. And the next sound is using an N that is rinse, rinse, rinse. This means to wash something. Can you say that out loud? stuff good stuff right on. now in this section we're talking about the ending of the words uh, the next two words actually have a kind of explosion at the end of the word we sometimes call it plosive and it's when you're and so it's when you're exhaling your breath uh, the first word is lapse 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 all right good stuff now you'll notice at the end of the word I'm saying so at the end of the word, I'm exhaling through the last syllable. That's why we call it a plosive, all right? The next word is width, width, width. Again, what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to exhale through the end of the word. I have wid, which is W-I-D, and then that T-H, I wanna, all right? I wanna kinda breathe through it. Width, width, width. Good work, excellent stuff, excellent stuff. It's actually very common in English that you will have a little T clipped on the very end of a word. Let's look at our first word, that is adopt, 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 right? It ends with the P and then ch at the end, adopt. Can you say that? Cool, good stuff. I also wanna try one more time with act, act, act. Good work, excellent, excellent stuff. Great work, great work. So the last section is the most difficult. This is gonna be our last section for this unit. Uh, essentially, I want to explode at the end of the word and I'm gonna clip on some extra letters. The first word is amongst, amongst, amongst. Can you say that? Great job, great job. And the last word for today is prompt, prompt, prompt. Okay, can you try that? All right, excellent stuff, excellent stuff. A lot of these words are very challenging, very strange, and they present weird combinations for Korean speakers. So excellent work for coming all this way. Now in the next unit, we're gonna be talking about how we string sounds together. We're gonna to be talking about what syllables to stress in English. It's gonna to totally improve the fluency of your voice. Let's get started. I'll see you there.